Hi guys, Tamano here. In this video, I am reviewing Jumiso Snow Mucin 95 Plus Peptide Facial Essence. This product is said to be moisturizing, strengthening, plumping, reduces fine lines and signs of aging. It claims to be the best for acne and sun damage and can be used by all skin types. It retails for $26 on the brand's website, but I'll put some links in the description box as well as the comment section for you to get it cheaper. You can also use my coupon code, which is on the screen to get 10 to 15% off if you shop via Stylevana. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, now will be the perfect time for you to do so. Also turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on future uploads. So here's what the snow essence looks like when it's out of the box. This is also what the pump looks like. So I'm going to dispense a bit at the back of my palm so that you guys can see. Here. In terms of consistency, not too thick, not too runny. So now I'm just going to blend this in. The smell I get from this one reminds me of the um, Tiam one. Yeah, it has that Tiam smell. I can't remember if Cosmerex Snow Mucin has any scent. I can't really remember. I'm still waiting for it to air dry. This took a while to dry it down, but do you guys see it? I'll take my fingers now to blend it in and check out for the stickiness. I don't really get stickiness. My skin feels nice, like it feels like I've applied something on there. But then the stickiness I get with the Cosrx or the Tiam, I don't necessarily see it here or feel it here. So it's time for me to apply this to my face so that you guys can see what it looks like. So how to use. The brand states here that at the last stage of your skincare, apply suitable amount onto face and gently tap in. So I don't get it. Are they saying we should use this as a sunscreen? I don't I don't really get that. Anyway, for me, how I've been using snow mucins is that after I wash my face, the next step is to use a toner or I go in with the snow mucin essence. Some people like to apply this on dry skin and some people like to apply snow mucin essence on damp skin. Now it's time for me to use it directly on my skin. I'm going to go with about, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, five pumps. So the consistency kind of matches with the Cosrx. I just feel like there is a difference between them, but let me just apply this so that you guys can see. Okay, so I'm going to apply a bit to my neck. So I'll go in with maybe five or six pumps, I can't remember. Don't forget the back of your neck as well. You can also spread this on your lips as well. So I'm going to come forward so that you guys can see what my face looks like. My skin looks pretty good. Looks damp looks like i applied something on there of course hmm. this has a taste <laughs> uh. <laughs> so after this essence you can apply other serums i won't be using any serum in this routine mainly because it's my morning routine and i want to keep it very simple so next will be for me to apply moisturizer but when you're doing your skincare routine in general always apply products from the thinnest all the way to thickest so now I'll pick up my moisturizer. I'm using this one from Purito. So after applying moisturizer, my last step or the next step in my skincare routine is for me to apply sunscreen. I'm going in with this one from La Roche Posay. So because I'm going to be wearing something that will be covering my neck, so I don't need to apply sunscreen on that area. 
So my own final step in my routine is to apply lip balm. Sometimes it's not the final. Sometimes it's actually the first product I apply mainly after washing my face. So I'm going in with this one from Laneige. I love, love, love this lip balm so much. Or lip mask. It's a lip mask, but I don't wear it to bed only. I wear it throughout the course of my day. For someone who has chapped lips, this has been doing wonders for me. So now that I'm done with my morning skincare routine, I'd like to share with you that when it's your night routine, you don't need to apply sunscreen. Sunscreen should not be applied at night. So it's time for me to share with you guys my thoughts on this product. So in terms of how this feels on the skin, I'd say that it feels slimy. It feels just like if you've used the Cosrx Snow Mist in essence before, it just has that same feeling. But in terms of the finish or the dry down, I'd say that one, it takes it, it takes a while to dry down. I also think the Cosrx one does, but the finish is not like that of the Cosrx. Well, the Cosrx one, I see my skin glowing. This was just there to me. The Cosrx one gives me more glow and makes my skin feel a lot more bouncy. Even at first use, as opposed to this one. I know it's the first time I'll still give it me your goal, but the first time I used the Cosrx one, I could see what everybody was saying about the product, but I'm not getting the same vibe with this. That doesn't mean that this is not good. In terms of fragrance and alcohol, this is free of both, but it does have a smell to it. Like I said, the smell I get reminds me of the Tiam Snail Essence. And also one thing to notice is that be careful around your lip area or your lips because this has a taste to it. The bitterness is instant. So when you're applying this one, make sure to skip your lip area, especially if you lick your lips a lot. This can be used by all skin types, all skin tone. So far, so good. It pairs well with my sun moisturizer and sunscreen. There's no peeling whatsoever. So I look forward to using this. I would definitely give you guys a feedback when it's like half the bottle or when it's about to finish. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did find it helpful, let me know in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't subscribed. Share this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys, thank you so much for your love and support. Take care of yourself and have a good day.